A lot of people don't make it off the reservation. They want to go and get an education, but a lot of times people are just told, oh, you can't do it, you can't do it. Being Native American has shaped me in a lot of ways. My ancestors endured a lot. They lived in hard times and had to fight to live. I always thought that Native Americans were poor. I just thought that just was how life was. So I sold myself very short. Probably around fourth or fifth grade, I think it was. My dad lost his job and his car was repossessed and slowly like our hot water was being turned off our electricity and like we slowly were selling our stuff and soon after that we moved into a shelter. I grew up kind of your average Native American boy, basketball and horses. My father, he's a third generation cattle rancher. That's how he took care of the family, you know, and the return back financially isn't, isn't always what it should be. You know, my dad, he said, Steve, you don't want to be a rancher. I mean, it's a lot of hard work. I mean, you're young and you think it's fun now, but when you get older, it's tough. You know, you gotta be outside in 100 degree weather. You gotta, in the winter time, you gotta pull a cab when it's 20 below. And so he definitely, you know, he, he wanted me to, to chase something good and to also challenge myself. Like, I didn't grow up with a father figure in the home. And my mom didn't drink, and she didn't smoke, and she was the perfect role model. She just was a single mother who took care of her kids and worked two jobs to do it. And if I didn't have that type of foundation established, there's no way I'd be a Udall scholar, a Truman scholar, a Bush fellow, an engineer. My mom did go to college while I was growing up. At the time, she had me, my two little sisters, my older brother, and then two stepdaughters. So she, she had a lot on her plate at the time. But she still graduated, and she got a good job, she got promoted. I think it left the impression that college is the next step. No matter what. You go through your senior year, teachers tell you, you gotta find out what your passions are. You gotta be able to write about your passions, talk about your passions. At the beginning of the school year, I had no idea. Once I started school, I started an AP art history class and everything kind of just clicked. And I was just like, wow, this, this art stuff, it, it's important. It's important in history. It was important for people then. It's important for us now. And like, I can't imagine what my life would have been like if I didn't take that art history class. I'm starting college and with my family's income and with me making so little if I were to work, college wouldn't really be an option for me. I found out about the scholarship through uh, one of our counselors and my mother, actually. It came with not just the financial help, which has been huge, but also with a lot of supplement help. I got like a gift basket. And then the personal letters and, and the birthday cards and the holiday cards. I've applied for scholarships in the past and the financial help is there and it's great, but the personal touch really made it unique. They check in on you. That definitely told me that they were invested in me and I, I didn't want to let them down. They nurtured my leadership and they gave me the foundation I needed to, to do well academically. Getting this degree is one of my proudest moments. This is something that I earned and no one can take it from me. I'm ready to start my classes. I'm excited to know my professors who 
have been in my place and they are where I want to be in 10 years. So I think I just strive to do everything I can to make it.